The writing is on the wall for Bill Belichick and his tenure with the New England Patriots. According to a report that just came out, the Patriots decided to move on from Bill Belichick right after they lost in Germany to the Indianapolis Colts. And it's time. Bill Belichick, he's not a bad head coach. It's just time for him to get a fresh start. We've seen this in similar in similar simulate in similar situations with Andy Reid when his time in Philadelphia came to an end. He got fired. He goes to Kansas City and he wins a couple of Super Bowls. Bill Belichick, if he can get hired by the Los Angeles Chargers, I think that he could be good enough to get them to a Super Bowl. It's not that this dude has lost it when it comes to knowing what it takes to have a good team or a championship caliber team, at least defensively. His defenses are championship caliber. It's just that he's terrible when it comes to drafting on the offense side of football. He doesn't know how to draft receivers, doesn't know how to evaluate that position. And ever since Tom Brady left, this franchise hasn't been the same. You know, Mac Jones looked really promising his first season. But when Josh McDaniels left, what did Bill Belichick do? He hired Matt Patricia, a defensive coordinator, promoting him to be his offensive coordinator. This dude never called plays before. Doesn't have that much experience on the offensive side of football. And he said, yep, you're going to be the guy responsible for the development of my young quarterback that I invested a first round pick into making that big leap in year two. You see, Bill Belichick's you know, an epness on offense has led to his downfall. Tom Brady was the system. He was the only constant thing that never changed with New England's offense. You know, even when Gronk was out, you had Chris Hogan, Julian Edelman making plays because of Brady. Brady was one of those kinds of players who was able to elevate the whole team around him and the guys calling the plays. It's easy when you're calling plays for the GOAT Versus calling plays for Mac Jones. You see Bill Belichick. The fact that he mishandled. That offensive coordinator hire. In Mac Jones second season. Is why Mac Jones is where he's at in this state of his NFL career. You can say Mac Jones never should have got drafted in the first round. That's understandable. But let's not act like this dude didn't show a little bit of promise. When he led the Patriots to 11-5 record. And they went to the postseason that year in his rookie year. Things went down the went downhill when Bill Belichick promoted Matt Patricia as his OC. And he tried to correct that mistake, but it was already too little too late. You see, once you have your young quarterback in a situation where he's going outside the organization to seek help, that's a sign that things are not looking good for him when it comes to his development. Mac Jones didn't trust Matt Patricia to the point where he was going elsewhere to try to get help, to try to get assistance. You can put all of the Patriots' offensive problems on Mac Jones all you want to, but Bill Belichick deserves a lot of blame for that decision to make Matt Patricia his OC. And you bring in Bill O'Brien, you thought that he would be able to make this offense at least a tad bit better than what it was under Matt Patricia, but... Things still haven't gotten better. As a matter of fact, they look just as bad or maybe worse than what it was in 2022. Offensive line ain't great. Receivers can't really separate. The best receiver for New England has not been Juju or Kendrick Bourne or Devontae Parker, a dude who Bill Belichick decided to give a three-year deal to, $30 million. That was another awful decision, and it further illustrates Bill Belichick's ineptness on offense. It was Demario Douglas. Demario Pop Douglas is the most talented wide receiver that the Patriots had on this roster this past season. And he's injured right now. And we don't know when he's going to come back. And you know who would have been able to have an impact on this offense was Jacoby Myers. It seems like Bill Belichick only has an eye for receivers in the later portions of the draft. When it comes to finding elite wide receivers or just serviceable wide receivers in the first, second rounds of the draft, he just doesn't know how to find any good ones. I mean, this past year, you could have had Tank Dell. He was a third-round selection. You could have had Josh Downs. Maybe you could have passed over Chris Gonzalez and maybe prioritized getting a better wide receiver. Christian Gonzalez was really great, but he didn't really play that much. And Bill Belichick, 
He's so good scouting and evaluating talent at corner that I would have trusted him to draft the receiver in the first round and try to address the need of getting another cornerback later on in the draft. Since you're so great at doing it, a lot of Bill Belichick's best players, some of them have been undrafted free agency steals. Some of them have been late round gems. Bill Belichick is a really good talent evaluator when it comes to every position other than quarterback and wide receiver. He does a really good job at drafting defensive and offensive linemen. Cornerback is always a really good position on his team. The defense is never a problem. The problem is he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing on offense anymore. So for New England, you got to move on for him. This was the same person who felt like Brady was replaceable. When really he should have gave in to Brady's commands... He should have gave Brady the help that he wanted, tried to get a big time acquisition at wide receiver, like maybe a Stefan Diggs who was available at the time. But instead, Bill Belichick was like, nah, Brady, like you go somewhere else. You're replaceable. This dude never wanted Jimmy Garoppolo gone. He wanted to keep Jimmy Garoppolo. Brady forced Jimmy G to get traded. He went to Robert Kraft. He said, enough of this, man. Like, get Jimmy G out of here. I'm the dude. I'm the guy. I'm the franchise QB. Trust me. And, you know, the more you think about the whole Brady and Bill Belichick, who was more responsible for the Patriots dynasty success, it looks more and more like Tom Brady was Batman and Bill Belichick was Robin. There's no denying how great of a coach Bill Belichick is. He does a really great job at paying attention to details. Antonio Brown said that Bill Belichick is the smartest head coach that he's ever played under. You know, during practice, they'll figure out which referees are going to be calling the game and they'll try to make calls based on what the referees call really often. So if you got a referee crew that likes to call a lot of pass interference penalties, then what will the Patriots do? They will try to practice without not having a lot of grabbing. If you have a referee cool crew that calls a lot of holding penalties, then you'll have your offensive lineman practicing with boxing gloves on. You know, that's really good attention to detail. And it seems like Bill Belichick, the last couple of years, he's lost that small attention to detail. At least when it comes to the offensive side of the football, if you put Bill Belichick on the Chargers, they immediately are Super Bowl contenders right away because you don't have to touch the offense. The receiver group is already set. You got Keenan Allen, Mike Williams. You got Austin Eckler. You're going to have Justin Herbert, a really good offensive line. And your defense is super talented already. Although they may have to part ways with a couple of players or two, it still should be good enough to be a top 10 unit if Bill Belichick is the head coach there. But as far as him being the dude in Foxborough, this organization, this franchise, they need a new head coach because they got to rebuild a little bit. You got to get a new quarterback. You got to get some receivers in there. You got pop. That's about it. You know, Bill Belichick, he also is the GM. He doesn't need to be the general manager for whichever new team he goes to if he does decide to coach for another franchise because he hasn't shown the ability to be able to assemble a championship caliber team we know he can give us a championship defense you know defense wins championships but the offense has to score some damn points this offense is abysmal and I mean he had Malik Cunningham Malik Cunningham should have gotten the start this dude has a lot of athletic upside with his mobility I would have loved to see Malik Cunningham be able to start a game or two for New England but he ends up signing with the Ravens practice squad and Oddly enough, Bill Belichick actually commented on it. He said, you know, he was better suited going to play for Baltimore with what they like to do with Lamar Jackson, and he's a better fit in that offense than what he is down here in Foxborough. Why is that, Bill Belichick? Why is it that Malik Cunningham wasn't able to work out in New England? You weren't able to adapt your offense around him? I mean, you should have already tried to give him a look because Bailey Zappi isn't it. Mac Jones definitely isn't it. If you think that Bill Belichick should get another year in Foxborough, you're crazy. It's done. Like, he's still going to be the GM, and he's going to be the head coach too. And he hasn't shown the ability to know what the hell it takes to assemble a championship caliber defense. You know, you think it wouldn't be that hard. He's one of the greatest coaches in the history of football. 
college and NFL combined. But the thing with Nick Saban is that Nick Saban, what makes him different from Bill Belichick, even though they coach in two different leagues, Nick Saban has always been able to adapt. Bill Belichick, he struggles to adapt. Brady was the only reason why that offense was as good as what it was. You take him away, this offense hasn't been even serviceable. This offense has been abysmal minus Mac Jones' rookie season. And the reason why Mac Jones looks like a bust isn't just because the dude can't play. It's because Bill Belichick, instead of going out of the organization and giving this dude a good offensive coordinator to help him in his second season, he gives him a defensive coordinator as his offensive coordinator. Come on, Bill. What the hell was that? Bill Belichick has to go. It's time for the New England Patriots to move on and go in a different direction. There's another head coach whose future is in question. 